Do you have yucky feelings? Like, you think something and you're like, Ew, that is gross. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, you have like a thought or feeling that's like really out of alignment with, with what it is that you believe to be true. And you're like, oh, whatever. I'm not going to believe that. You know, that's stupid. I, I'm just going to like ignore that until, I don't know. If I just keep ignoring it, then it's just going to go away. You know, that's how it works. I know that my ego is constantly giving me shit, giving me like this, these dirty feelings, dirty thoughts. Not that like good kind of dirty, but like those dirty thoughts that you want nothing to do without. You're shit. You're not, you're not good enough for love or... You know, this isn't, this isn't like really going to happen or this is all like a bunch of crap. This whole journey is, you know, nonsense. Um, just, I've learned to ignore these things. Have you learned to ignore these things and just like push them way back in the back of your mind or push them down so that, you know, and then you... Just like, uh, everything's cool. I have these yucky thoughts, but yeah, they don't affect me. Right? It's like, it's appalling. <sighs> oh, that's, that's appalling to me. But out of sight, out of mind, that's how, that's how I'm going to run this shit. Not gonna think about that. Just leave it alone. Not gonna touch that. You know, is that is this the kind of stuff that's happening? And you you keep pushing it down. You're not like addressing what these thoughts are. You're not addressing what these feelings are. Like if you were to just start, if you were to just start questioning what these things are all about, you might get to the bottom of it and realize that there is a limited belief that you're holding within yourself that has been, uh, maybe it's been a pattern or maybe it's been, you know, something that has been holding you back all these years. Maybe it's recently, maybe it's been your whole life. You know, it's affecting the way that that you live and it's affecting the way that you love yourself and others. Maybe it's like something that you you don't think that you could change your mind on or maybe it's something that you don't feel that is is possible to to like get rid of so you just ignore. But I invite you to start questioning these things within your mind. I invite you to confront these things that are in your mind and stand up to them and see if they hold water or not. See if you could pass right through them as the illusions that they are and, and not something that is shaping or forming the way that you live your life. Because once you start to question these limiting beliefs and these feelings that you're having that aren't... Uh, in your heart and that aren't uh, really propelling you forward on your journey, you start to see the truth and you start to realize that all this shit that you're thinking in a negative, in a negative way about is, is just holding you back. And by addressing it and by standing in front of it and saying, you know, what is this? Why do I think this way? What's going on here? You know, you're addressing things from childhood trauma or things that you uh, maybe have uh, developed as your own from the people that grew up around you. Maybe your parents, maybe relatives that have shaped your mind in a way that uh, don't enable you to be free. 
and don't en don't enable you to choose love and and choose to create the life that you're uh, meant to have. And it doesn't take you know uh, a giant amount of force to to blow through these limiting beliefs. It just takes that courage to stand up to them and to uh, understand what the origin is. And once you understand what that origin is, they disappear. They're illusions. They're fear. Fear is not real. So it's very easy to just walk right through that fear once you acknowledge that it's it doesn't exist. Right? And this is what uh, I provide through coaching sessions. And this is what will propel you uh, and accelerate your journey to, you know, rapid pace. So check the description box down below for all the links to how to get in touch with me or details on my coaching services. And, you know, leave a comment down below. Uh, support each other in the comment in the comment box down below. You know, tell each other about your journey and the, and the struggles that you're facing. And maybe somebody will have, you know, some great insight for you, something that you, you might not be looking at in a particular way. And, uh, you know, I will see you all next time. Take care.